Man, oh man, man, we are banging these videos out. Let's get right into it. Very entertaining episode of Friday Night SmackDown. So this was the go-home show for SmackDown following the Hall of Fame, which was, oh my God, it, it was literally till 12.45 midnight, but The Undertaker, he, he certainly deserved a, a speech and a speech indeed. Um, let's just kick SmackDown off and get through this because I think we're all just waiting for WrestleMania to just pop off and just see what happens. So we did get a good takeaway from this SmackDown. So it started off with the Andre the Giant Battle Royale, uh, Baron Corbin. He ended up coming out midway to hype up his buddy, Madcap Moss. Moss defying the odds, eliminating uh, Finn Balor, Robert Root, and Dolph Ziggler. So it seems like WWE will be doing something with Madcap Moss after WrestleMania. For him to get a win, for sure. You know, I hope they don't bury Madcap Moss just after this. I really hope they, uh, you know, do something with him. Uh, let's talk next, the triple threat match for that Intercontinental Championship, Ricochet defending his title against Umberto and Angel Garza. So this was a phenomenal, phenomenal match. Ricochet has not been on the mountain like this in maybe a year. Um, Ricochet defying the odds with a sweet 632 Angel Garza and a recoil to Carrillo to retain. Let me just say Michael Cole went apeshit. Oh man, he's going get crazy. Dude. Ricochet just crazy. selling Ricochet. I loved it, but man, Michael Cole was screaming over the microphone about Ricochet. Oh, dude, I have to say congratulations to Ricochet. He's really showing that he can really compete with the top contenders in WWE with that Intercontinental Championship. We all know this was kind of a two on one handicap match, but Ricochet certainly pulled it off and built some awesome momentum heading into WrestleMania. For sure, dude. He he is just a showstopper, and his match is just nothing combines what he can do in, inside and outside the ring. It's jaw dropping. Um, let Let's move next to our women's bout. You know, this WrestleMania, I don't think everybody's too hyped up for the women superstars come WrestleMania. So let's Shayna and Natalia, Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, bring side watching Zelina Vega and Carmella take on. Sasha Banks and Naomi, as these all women are going to have a match at WrestleMania for the uh, Women's Tag Team Championships. But, you know, all women outside the ring were very hungry. You know, they wanted spotlight, but it was nice to see Naomi and Banks take a clean win. We didn't see any women brawl, which they always like to end something in a brawl. Um, they didn't in this case. Um, so usually Naomi and Banks taking the win standing tall on SmackDown they're going to take a nice L at WrestleMania. That's just how it's going to work. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it in our predictions video. I think Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan are going to get those titles. Yeah. But you know what? I just really hope that with some new champions, maybe that it'll bring some invigoration to that division and the championships. But we can only hope. I don't see it happening. It's going to spice things up for sure, hopefully, as we hope. You know, we could be wrong. But uh, so spicing things up for WrestleMania. We have a pre-taped promo play with Charlotte and Ronda's rivalry um, poured onto our screens for the past This is actually weeks. a really good segment. It, it was a good segment as it's been culminating. You know, Ronda was actually in the ring tonight with a promo as the segment was airing over live television. It was a big hype towards Mania, but with Charlotte not there, the segment would have been way more stronger to help up um, their match at WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, I 100% agree with you. I see uh, Ronda Rousey taking that title off of Charlotte Flair in a banger of a match, probably like a 30-minute match, and I'm here for it, man. I hear too. You know, I'm happy to see those two get some spotlight, but, man, I'm, I'm hoping for, for a hell of a fight uh, between Charlotte and Ronda. Uh, so moving next, I think this was one of the best parts of the night. It was just nonstop action. We see Rick Boogs take on Jimmy Uso next, of course, Jay and Shinsuke ringside. Austin Theory comes out mid-match. And throws a cup of water onto um, Pat McAfee. Not only did he swipe his legs when Pat McAfee was on the table during Shitsuke Nakamura's uh, entrance, but Finn Balor ends up coming down towards the end of the match and attacks Theory, leading to a six-man tag team match. So it's Austin Theory and the Usos versus Noobs and Mak Nakamura, accompanied by uh, also Finn Balor in that match. The heels isolated Finn, allowing Austin Theory to roll up the prints to get his last smile over Pat McAfee ahead uh, of their match this WrestleMania. So it was all about storytelling, even a backstage segment before this match with Austin Theory just 
teeing off with Pat McAfee throughout SmackDown. Pat McAfee chasing, what was it, him into Vince's office, and Vince screamed at him, and it was a big altercation backstage. There, there was there was some crazy stuff going on. It was it was a great segment to just really put over Austin Theory. Oh, dude, I 100% agree with you. Vince McMahon looked absolutely fired up, man. I haven't seen good old Vinny Mac that fired up in a while. I must say Pat McAfee also looked fired up. So we're going to see one hell of a match between these two come WrestleMania less than 24 hours away, man. I cannot wait. No, well, I'm hoping. Oh, my God. It's it's literally not even. We have NXT stand up and deliver. That's in literally 10 hours. Oh, boy. But uh, let's, let's talk about. So this is our main event. So Happy Corbin is out next with another happy talk with Angela, the sword, and his guests. None other than Mad Cat Moss. I'm going to explain this very quickly. Jokes after jokes, Drew making his way down, claiming his sword, getting that last stare down with Baron Corbin walking up the ramp. Baron looked frightened as all hell, and Drew McIntyre looked pissed. And Baron, he even brought up a a, a promo with uh, Drew McIntyre's sword and Drew McIntyre's uh, dead mother, I believe it was. So oh it, got, it, it was heated, and I'm surprised they actually let that go into play, and Drew actually gave consent to it. But uh, I think we're going to see some hell break news, WrestleMania. And you know what? I'm happy they ended SmackDown with Baron Corbin and Drew McIntyre because Drew McIntyre deserves spotlight. Oh, dude, absolutely. Drew McIntyre deserved to be in the main event of WrestleMania. Never mind this kind of shit show of a match that he's doing with Baron Corbin. You know, I think it's going to be a squash match. I think we're going to see Vicious Claymore after Vicious Claymore. And uh, Drew McIntyre is going to decapitate Happy Corbin. He's going to be no we'll Happy Corbin later. We'll see, but it's kind of late. We just finished watching the Hall of Fame. It's already almost 1 a.m., so uh, we will uh, post a uh, WrestleMania recap video. So tomorrow night's WrestleMania, as you know, if you're watching this Saturday, it's tonight's WrestleMania Saturday. So cheers to that, everybody. Uh, Have a great WrestleMania weekend. We will catch you guys on the flip side. Yeah, dude, both night one and night two recap. We also got a NASCAR race recap. Thanks for all the support on the videos, guys. We are churning these things out. We couldn't do it without you guys. Peace out. As Undertaker says, never say never. I don't know what that was about, man. I I don't know. You guys leave in the comments what you think that was just before we go. What a phenomenal promo from The Undertaker. What a great, not even a promo, what a speech. Oh, never, never disappoints, man. Never disappoints. Before we go, one last thing. Who do you think Seth Rollins' mystery opponent is going to be? One last thought before we go. I hate to say it. It's it's all the hype about Cody Rhodes. I would really like to be swerved, to be honest. But I'm going to say it's either Cody Rhodes or maybe Gable Stevenson. There's so many possibilities, dude. Oh, dude, we're just going to have to wait and see. All right, let us get out of here because we got to edit this thing and put it up for 1130 tomorrow. But we got much more content coming for you guys, so stay tuned and peace out. Peace. Come on and fight back.